deadly gunshots for so many years that some people in Shreveport are becoming numb to the violence. But the violence me, bears the burden we all are fans. We examine from paganism. The problems that stay out with the man, that's how we talk about You see the prophets out here with the gospel, you think that we playing the sun? We playing the sun? You see the army and yeah, we the sons of God and we stay in presumption. Israel, we to have power with God and man prevail. You know that Israel the flex on the Jesus, they mad cause I know why they rage. Yeah, they the most I can. So step on them, step on them, step on them, step on them. Step on them, step on them, yeah, step on them, yeah, step on them. Hey, what you, what you got, bro? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, sir. My brother, I heard you on the sidelines talking about the Christ's name, right? His name is, is you said it's idolatry? By coming to Jesus? What'd you say? I'm sorry, I didn't say that. Wait, what'd you say? I didn't mention idolatry. No, he's good with the name. I don't want to say, we're not hung yeah. up on the name. Yeah, I'm not hung up on the name. What I believe, yeah. I think all of us, brother, with Denmark in 1995, and I was at the first level, the 20 hour work of the Million Man March, uh, October uh, 10, 10, 15. Okay. And so you had one of three brothers look like us. We were there talking. We were right. from different uh, backgrounds, different religions, different. Uh, Nationality, some brother was gay, some brother was Baptist, some brother was uh, Ecclesiastes, but yet we, had, we were able to formulate one to three million men on the Mall of Washington two, two times. And, 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 and the honorable minister Lewis Baptist, my man, the Latino speaker, yeah, they were brothers conversing with one another despite. We said, you know what? They don't care whether we, 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 we are Hebrew, they don't care whether we Israelite, they don't care whether we Baptist, they don't care whether we. They're shooting all of us in the head. Okay. They're not asking you that. So that's, that's what we were saying. Man. We said, yeah, brother, regardless of how our religion, how our politics we may be alike or how they differ. The point of, of the fact is, let's have a strategy so these folks can stop shooting us unarmed in the streets of America. Hey. And that was our thing. And I think that was a great thing. Okay, now let me ask you a question. Yes, sir. Two, how many million men were? Two, right? What did that change like community? Well, I think. What it is, it brought us brothers, we were able to come together. I think whenever you get a brother, uh, one of them three million black men together, like us, it's going to be... We came together, right? But what was the outcome? What, what, outcome? what changed in our community? Yeah. Yeah. Did more uh, jobs get created? Yeah. Did more people get out of drugs? Right, right, right. Were you able to um, watch the videos? I watched it. I watched it. I, I, my church, our church was done. But I'm saying, God got one solution, and the solution is repent as Israelites keep the commandments of God. That's so right. change all that. We have to come together on the, on the umbrella of keeping God's commandments. Uh, let me get a couple of scriptures real quick. Seven, nine, two, and one. We must come together. But it's not like you said. We can't come together on the politics, on the religion. We have to come together as the Israelites. That's how you're doing. I agree, brother. You got some knowledge, man. Second, my brother. I agree. 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 I First off, with the family. You got any questions? That's what I'm about. Oh, not now. Yeah, not going to be here. We're going to be here for a little minute, bro. You know what I'm saying? But why you know? You know what I'm saying? I'm talking to both of y'all. Zephyr 9, 2, 1. This is the book of Zephyr 9, chapter 2, verse 1. Bring it out. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together. O nation, not desire. Oh what? Oh nation, not desire. Yeah, we all that nation of people that not desire, right? We can move to a different neighborhood. Yes, the white people going to move out. We the only people don't have our own because we are that nation of desire because we God chosen people. Now keep reading. Before the decree bring it forth, before the day pass of the child, before Christ come back, we got to come together. But how? How do we come together? Well, Give me uh, I can tell first you, brother, one and ten. You don't mind me elaborating. It's gonna be out of the Bible. It's but, gonna be out the Bible. Well, it's gonna be a Bible scripture. Yeah, I can, I, can, I can tie it in with the Bible. Hey, because what we deal with, we're going to deal with the Word of God. You yes, know sir. what I'm saying? We can't come with our own philosophies and our own vain opinions. We've been doing it too, hey, too long. Yes, sir. We didn't try marching. Yes, we didn't try voting. We yes, did sir. everything but repent. Yes, sir. I agree. That's the key. I agree. Listen up. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 1, verse 10. Bring it up. For a fact. Nothing changed at the million man march. We still die at the hands of police. We still die at the hands of each other. We have to teach God laws to our youth. We have to marry our sisters. And the Bible is the only solution. Keep reading. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing. We got to speak the same thing. What is the same thing that God wants us to speak? 
reacting? Yes, what is the same wow. thing when God says well, he wants us to speak all the same thing? What is that? Bring it up. I think it's that, that we love the Lord our God with all our heart, all our soul, and all our might. We love our neighbor as ourselves. And then be able to define love uh, under uh, the definition of most people who act as Christians. What grace means, what atonement means, what redemption means. Redemption, atonement. Exactly. You gotta speak the, the same yeah. word. Get, what is the word? Yeah. What you saying, bro? I think we need to uh, really be able to fully and comprehensively define what redemption means, what grace means. Right, right. The Bible, the thing about it, the Bible explains all that. The Bible speaks for itself. Like right now, he says, he says, what word should we speak? We're going to go to the Bible like the brother said to see what that word is. Listen up. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 8 verse 20. Bring it out. To the law and to the testimony. We must teach God laws. The Christian church don't. We got a Christian church on every block across America and the crime rate is high because they do not teach the laws of God. This is what the prophets of God must teach. We got to speak the same thing. The, God, the laws of God. Read. If they speak not according to this word, if nobody speak according to God's laws. It is because there is no light in them. It's no light in no other religions. No light in Islam, no light in Christianity or Buddhism. The only light is keeping God's laws, statutes, and commandments. That's right. That's what we got to do. We got to realize this. We got to get ourselves together. That's teaching you. Put down the guns. Pick up the Bible. You are the guys upon this earth. Right. Christ is a black man just like you. Right. He died for you. We got to teach this to our people. So we can come together, but what? It's not going to be no solution if we all don't speak the same thing. Right. The same thing is God's law. Let's go back to one more time. Verse 21. Now let you get your spill out. Verse 21 to 10. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10. Bring it out. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing. Or whatever you want to copy, your Hushu or your Havisha, by him, he said, speak the same thing, right? He read. And that there be no divisions We can't you. be divided. We divided, uh, like I said, politics, I'm a Democrat. I'm a Republican. I'm a friend. I'm a tree. I'm a cowboy. I'm a cowboy. I'm a friend. We ain't divided by, divided by sports teams, by gangs. We had to speak the same thing. We got to see each other as brothers, yes, as the gods on this earth, as the princes of God, right? We got to speak God's laws. Can you read? But that ye be perfectly joined together. We have to be perfectly joined together. Look around. Just look at us. Just look at us. We all have beards, right? You got a nice beard too, my brother. We all got fringes on because it's commandments of God. We all teach the same thing. Every man out here with a woman is all married. That's right. Married man. We don't deal with no boyfriend and girlfriend because we follow this Bible a hundred thousand percent. That's right. It's what we do. You know what I'm saying? We all speak the same thing. Hey, you go to any IUIC branch, you go to Oklahoma, go to New Orleans, go to Baton Rouge, go to New York, guess what? They're going to say the same thing I'm talking about. And there's, there's power in this. In Africa, we got schools over there. They speaking the same thing. In Brazil, this is our problem. I'm with you on that, bro. Key read. I'm with you on that. It's holiness. Holiness, what you mean? Yes, we teach. Yes, holiness. What is holiness? Uh, yeah. What is holiness? Yeah. You catch me a shot for that. Get that, get that. The Bible said what holy it is. Because we got to be set apart. We have to be different. We cannot assimilate into these religions. You can't assimilate to this system. Because over here, we assimilate it. We ain't integrated. Because integration means we'll be now, equal. We're not equal. We're fighting to be equal. But God like says we're above those Lord. people. we fight to be Lord. equal to the body. God says, see, that we're Lord. supposed to be above. And something wrong with that. By us knowing to be Israel, you know what I'm saying? Our mindset changed. We won't be fighting and scrapping, begging, begging for uh, justice, no peace, no justice, no peace. No, man. we going to rule this whole earth again once we repent. That's we right. ain't begging nobody for nothing. That's the God mindset we instilling in our brothers. We, we military, man, you gotta repent. Repentance is revolutionary. You gotta be baptized two times. Baptized in the, in the spirit. The water is the word of God, my brother. Because think about it. During the time of John, John dipped people in the water and they confessed their sins, right? It was just symbolic to Christ's name. Paul, to Christ came, right? Ephesians 5 26 says the water is what? The word of God. That's right. You change it to the word of God. Matter of fact, we'll get there after you get this. Yeah, he wanted, he said Leviticus 19 and 1. This is the book. Leviticus 19 and 1. This is the book of Leviticus chapter 19, verse 1. Bring it out. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel, and say unto them, Ye shall be holy. For I, the Lord your God, am holy. 
That means we can't do like everybody else. We got a dietary law, we got a dress code, we have moral civil laws, ceremonial. For instance, the day of the Sabbath day should be no buying and selling on this day. Did you know that? Did you know that? Sir. Did you know about the Sabbath day? Yes, what is the Sabbath day? Sabbath. The day. What can you do on the Sabbath day? What can you not do on the Sabbath day? According to God. What I'm saying? Can I buy on the Sabbath day? Sir. Can I cook today? Can I cook? You see, well, it's a pastor right across the street, right? Yes, sir. All right, now it's a Christian pastor, right? Yes, but he's cooking. Yes. In the Bible, is that allowed to cook on the Sabbath day? Well, well, well like, like your ox is in a uh, ditch on yes. the Sabbath day, you're going to get your ox out of it. That's lost to do good, right? Yes, but sir. you got a day called preparation. Yes. You should cook yesterday. Yeah. No buying or selling. It's asking the Bible to get there. But sometimes there's circumstances that make. But it's God will never give no God don't give no license to sin. No license to sin. I think God would condemn us and say that an unexpected death in your family or you need to raise for your children on the Sabbath. Right. Now, now tell this God. No, you can't raise no money on the Sabbath day. You got six days to do that. Well, that's true. Now, if your, your car broke down, we ain't telling you to be retarded and leave your car on the road. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. God, yeah, God ain't, ain't done, you know what I'm saying? It depends on your survival and the survival of your family. And it happens on the yes. Sabbath day. Well, you're going to take care of your wife and your children on the Sabbath if it's, day. If it's life and death, you can, you can deal with that. Christ, yeah, it's lawful to do good, right? But it's never okay to cook on the Sabbath day. We're going to get it. Yeah, Let's get it out the Bible. But I mean, we can't put God in a box, you know? Hey, the Bible is God's word. God left us a blueprint. We got to guide ourselves. If the Sabbath day, you know what I'm saying? If your heart's falling in the ditch and you need to make some money. Listen, listen up, you know what I'm saying? Listen up. That's what the Christian church does teach. Well, hey, man, Jesus broke the Sabbath day. They ate the pork. We all have sin. Like the glory of God and right. God's right. righteous. Not, not, not nobody in this world. You go? I, 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 I believe in God. Where you live at? I, hold on. I live in both. Y'all got to come across that wall. All right, man. Hey, come see us, bro. I need to hear this, brother. I believe in God was to punish us for our sin that would be a person on the earth as well. Because all of our righteousness and the faith of a holy God is us like guilty rags. None of us. All of us. We all fall short, right? We all fall short, right? But does that give you a right to continue to break the Sabbath day? Born has fallen short of not being Brother, 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 give me, listen. Brother, in the flesh, you gonna sin. You gonna sin. We're not gonna be knowing nobody better than nobody. Give me Matthew five and four real quick. Give me Matthew five and four eight. Let's listen up. Listen up. The word is none righteous. Listen up. Listen up, my brother. Listen up. Matthew 5, 48. You're not better than me. I'm not better than you. This is the book of Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. Be ye therefore perfect. Jehoshua said be what? Perfect. Be what? Perfect. He says to be perfect. How do we become perfect? Give me first Kings 8, 53. It's not. It's not. It's not. The Bible says if any man speak, then it's speaking as the arms of God. Right now, my brother, you coming with emotions. Listen that's, up. That's how you interpret it perfect. The eight, verse 61. Let your heart therefore be perfect. My brother, God says, let your mind be perfect. All of our righteousness. With the Lord your God. To walk in his statues. How do we become perfect? To walk in his statues. We got to walk in God's statues. God don't give you no excuse to sin. Give me, God don't give you no license to sin. We by grace. You ain't saved by, yeah, you got to repent, my you brother. Said, I you have this to brother repent. Sin, this brother Guess what? This brother sin, Guess everybody what? in the whole world sin. Oh, my goodness. All give of us sin. Give me that. None of us fall, 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 fall to yeah. God's glory. We all sin, brother. We all glory. sin. Don't let nobody fool This is the book we of Acts chapter 3, so, verse 19. What sin are we in right now? What sin are we in right now? We all fall short. What sin are we in right now? We all fall short. You sin, I sin. Hey, if you break the law of seven, that means God says not to break it. You're going put the devil. Repent ye therefore and be converted. God says to repent and be converted. Be changed. Keep the commandments. This, the Bible is the blueprint. It's not your own emotions. Come with the word of God. That your sins may be blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. All of us have sinned. All of us have sinned. That's none of us right. But it's a It's not a excuse to continue to sin. Hey, tell me what you just said. Hey, do we continue to sin? I need a savior. Everybody in this world needs a savior. Hey, brother, listen up. Hey, hey, are you more important than God? 
Are you more important to God? I can tell you this, we all sin. Are you more important to God? I'm just Are you more important to God? Saved by grace because he's Eli, Eli, Yama, my brother. My brother, you have a dialogue. How can you have a dialogue when you jabbering and jabbering never work? Because you cut me off. Come with the word of God. You cut me off. I'm going to cut you off with the word of God because you babbling. That's not right. Hey, give me uh, Romans 6 and 2 real quick. We all, we all sin, right? Romans 6 and 1. Give me that. Hey, this is for you. Hey, why are you walking off? Proverbs 2 and 1. Hey, the Bible says, the, hey, the righteous are bold as a lion and the wicked flee. Are you wicked? Or are you going to stay here and hear the word of God? Oh, 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 oh. No, he good, he good. Yeah. This Read is that. the book of Romans chapter 6, verse 1. Read. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin? Hey, we all fall short. Should we continue in sin? Yeah. Read. No, no. That grace may abound. You right. No, no, because grace teaches us to that now I sin. Read. God forbid. No. We're not this. What are you talking about? But you saying, I'm telling you at the Bible, God says not to cook on the Sabbath day. You give me a story. God says not to do it. There's no other way around it. Bring it out. I think you're misinterpreting what I'm telling you. Well, you're saying so much, brother. You know what I'm saying? You got to calm down. So we all have sin. That's all we all sin. sin. Let's keep it right there. We all, we have, all sin. have sin. That's none righteous. But now we can that's repent. That's none righteous. But we can yeah, repent. we can repent. We can repent. But that's why we have to repent every day. Because we all sin. Yes, but guess what? I don't break the Sabbath every day. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying we all sin. Don't twist it, brother. I'm saying we all are sinful. Every human being on this earth is sinful. All right, so. We're saved by grace because of the blood that redeems us. What is sin? Uh, what is sin? Bro, bro, come on. You're playing on my intelligence, bro. No, I'm saying, what is sin? I'm not going to get it. See, you want to be polemical. You want to be argumentative. No, I'm not arguing with you. you too. Man, you always want to fight. You want to argue. Who want to fight? Oh, no, man. <laughs> oh, I'm going to say, anybody else want to deal with this brother? He said, I want to fight. Guess what? <laughs> hey, well, hey, so you know he is, bro. Where your friends is at? Where your friends is? Where's your friends is? Uh -huh. Where's your fringes? I'm blessed about that deal with you because you said I'm fine, but it's really you. I'm trying to deal with the word of God and you here and you there. Come and deal with your brother, brother. Hey, my brother. Come come talk to me. Let me can I, you good? You good? You good? Can't watch this. Now you good? Right. And that's good. You got a zeal. He got a zeal for the most high God. And that's good. Your wife work, work, work. Hey, my brother, let me. Uh huh. I got. You. Hey, my brother, let me ask you this before you roll out. When you was in school, right? Yes, sir. The objective when you was in school was to make a what? Right. You wanted to strive to be perfect, right? You wanted to make a hundred in class, correct? If you can possibly can. If you possibly can, you wanted to make a hundred in class, correct? You wanted to be perfect. Uh, no, I love my people, bro. I love my wife, and I love my children, I love my country. He say, oh, that's good, that's good. Hold on, give me Matthew 5 and 48. This is what Matthew 5 and 48 is going to I love you too, my brother. But hey, I love you to where I can correct you and tell you when you is wrong. That's right. Watch this, read what you got. This I is the book you, of Matthew chapter 5, you, verse 48. Hey, brother, I love you, Be ye therefore perfect, hey, brother, I love you, man. even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Christ says, be ye there perfect. Christ says, be ye there perfect. Right? As it goes back into that example we were just giving you. If you in class and you strive to make a hundred, but you may come up short and make a ninety-five. But you still striving to make that hundred. Read the scripture for it. This is the book of Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. Bring it out. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Be ye therefore perfect. You got to strive to keep the commandments of God. A lot of people like say, I'm saved from, hey, I'm saved by grace. What does it mean to be saved by grace? Let's get that. The brother says, I am saved by grace. A lot of times you be quoting things your pastor said and have no understanding of it. Give me that in Titus. This is the book of Titus chapter 2 verse 11. Bring it out. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation had appeared to all men. Grace have appeared to all men, right? Keep reading. Teaching us that doing what? Hold on, teaching us what? That denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in the present world. So grace should teach you that you should live righteously. You should keep the commandments of God. That's what grace should teach you. 
It's no different than if you don't pay your uh, mortgage. They give you a grace period. You got the first and the 15th. If you don't pay your a mortgage within that time frame, you will get penalized. That's what grace is. In this standpoint, if you don't correct and live righteously, keeping the commandments of God, you shall get put to death. You shall get put to death. That's what grace is. Give me that in Romans. A lot of times you throwing out these and you don't have no understanding of it. Grace is just a time period. A time period to get your life right. Right. Yeah, right there. 331. This is the book of Romans chapter 3, verse 31. Do we then make forth the law through faith? Uh-oh. Do we make forth the law because of your faith? Read. God forbid. Read. Yay, we established the law. Uh-oh. What do the Bible say? We do what? We established the law. We do what? We established the law. We established the laws of God. That's what we should do. We can get over here and have side conversations and run from the Bible all day and get emotional when the Bible coming out. We need to just hark to the Bible. Just, hey, hark and just know that you don't know. Grace is a certain time period to get yourself right with the most high God. That's what grace is. Neither you're going to get right before Christ come back or God going to put you to death. Either or whichever one comes first. That's what we need to understand. Read it again for it. This is the book of Romans chapter 3 verse 31. Do we then make void the law through faith? Do we void the law because of your faith? Read. God forbid. You say God forbid, but we do what? Yay, we establish the law. God says we establish the law. That's right. That's what the we in the New Testament. So what are you talking about? You establish the commandments hey, of God. Come on, but the man. Bible says you should have a beer, you should put a beer. The Bible says you shouldn't go from woman to woman sleeping, being a whoremonger. That's what you should do. What? Give me that in uh, Matthew what Christ says about the law. That's what we're going to get. Let's see what the Christ says. Yeah, hey, we are, we, you know, we make mistakes, we fall, but we should strive for righteousness. That's right. Let's see what Christ says about it. This is the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 17. Think not that I've come to destroy the law. Jesus Christ says, think not that I've come to destroy the law, but read. All the prophets. All the prophets. Read. I am not come to destroy but to fulfill. God says, hold on, y'all. Y'all ain't got to have a side conversation. If he want to go, let him go. If he ain't trying to hear the Bible, then let him go. Sitting over here having side conversations. Man, let the brother go, man. He can come over here and deal if he want to deal. Don't have a side conversation. Come over here to the front and deal with the prophets. If you ain't going to deal, you said you have to go to your mama or to your uh, wife, then you go to your wife. Just go if you don't believe. Read what you got. If you got to go, then go, my brother. You ain't got to sit over here trying to convince us. We don't ain't trying to hear what you got to say. You're not going to come out here and teach us. You're not going to teach us. Because, brother, you is not learned. We're trying to have a conversation. to have a conversation, but you want to have a side conversation on the side. You want to have a side conversation on the side. Read what you got. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. Till all be fulfilled. Oh, Christ says, now what shall pass from the law? Until all be fulfilled. Christ says, now one shot of one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. My brother, my brother, have a conversation with me. I'm the man that got the mic. You trying to have a conversation. You're not going to convince any one of us of this. What do this mean? Hold on. Let it go. Read. Brother, you don't say it enough. This is the you don't say it Matthew. enough. Hey, my brother, I want to make sure you understand this. We're not coming out here to be taught. Right, right, right. Well, you sound taught. You sound like We're not trying to be taught. Like bull, brother. You sound like you're hostile. You sound angry. Oh, yeah, my yeah. brother. That's why I'm My brother, the brother was over here talking to you kindly and politely. No, no. You wasn't trying to listen. He was too. No, he was trying to talk to I you kindly. Wait. Give me Isaiah 5081. No. Isaiah 5081. No. Hey, y'all want you want me to talk soft to you? Yeah, like I'm this. not soft. You want me to talk like this? Have I hurt your feeling? Did I hurt your feelings? 
Africa. Hey, my, bro my, my brother. My brother. My brother. My brother. Are you okay, brother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch what the Bible says. Something different. What was the Bible say? This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 1. Read it out. Cry aloud. Spare not. The Bible says, do what? Cry aloud. Spare not. No, the Bible says to speak but you, softly. You come, you come like you were no, I'm not, brother. Ah, I ain't repent, doing punch. Repent. You know what it is, my brother? No, come on. The black man has been doored down. That's right. When a brother, we supposed to speak loud. Right. I'm not trying to fight you, brother. No, you are. You're not trying I ain't got no gun. I'm not fighting. I'm just reading the Bible. This is what I'm doing right here. No, Read this. What I said, you come Cry the aloud. Spare not. Hey, what do the Bible say? Oh, you closing your ears now to the word of God, huh? Read it again for me. Cry aloud, spare not. The Bible says what? Cry aloud, spare not. Hey, okay, my brother. Come on, let's talk. I'm, I'm, let me dial it down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come talk to me. That's better. That's better. That's how you like it? Because at the end of the day, I want to win you over, right? But watch this. Let me read Let me read I got you. I got you. You like that? You like that? We, we go, I'm going to deal with where you at. I'm going to come to where you at because I want to win you over. Watch this. Watch this. Yes, go ahead. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression. So the Bible says, cry aloud and lift up thy voice like a trumpet. When you look at the trumpet, the trumpet gets loud, right? Not only am I speaking to you, I'm speaking to everybody. I want everybody to he hear me. Not that I'm trying to be aggressive towards you because at the end of the day, we are fishermen of men and I want to win you over, right? But remember this. Go watch this real quick. Read that last part. Nobody never told you. That's what I'm telling you. Right. I got you. And I'm bringing it down now. So we passed that, right? We passed that. Watch this. Keep going. Lift up my voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression. So the Bible, God told us to come out here and show our people their transgression, meaning their sins. You know why? Because we want to save their life at the end of the day. You know, it's like this, my brother. Watch this. If they running out there in the street and they about to get hit by a truck, are you gonna be talking softly? Or are you gonna be screaming, hey, get off the street! You about to get hit by a truck! Get off the street! Which one? Teach up! Well, brother. No, no, remember, remember. Be round and respond. Yeah, go ahead. I'm letting you go ahead. Now you can make your answers. All I'm saying is there's a way uh -huh. to approach people when you're trying to get a message to them. I got you. Like you should say, follow me, I'll make you a fish of a man. Right. To, to, to catch a catfish, you have to use a certain uh, I got you. Down at the bottom. you. Right. You fishing for bass. Right. You use a different technique. Right. Uh, so that's true. I, I agree mean, with you on I that. I mean, when you're dealing with people, you have to make sure that you establish. What's your What's your name? Hold on, hold on. That you establish before with them. Right. That's when you establish the core. You know, I got you. Things. You don't be uh, the my brother. Has been, you got to keep uh, it short, my yeah, brother. Has, Come has on. been judgmental, hostile, belligerent, and polemical. Now, this is my June opinion. 22. This is my opinion. I got you. Give me that. Hey, you just hear? You hear what my, you just said? My opinion is that. Give me that one. Say the judge is a righteous man. Judge is all. I heard the other brother spoke where he was. Where right. My brother, we keep talking yeah, about, yeah, yeah, my yeah, brother, yeah, I don't yeah, die all the time, so why we keep going like backwards? My brother, why we keep going backwards? Oh. See, that's the problem people. with black people. We can't move no, forward. Can't people them over the my brother, I asked you a simple question. I said, if somebody about to get hit, are you going to scream softly or are you going to be loud? That was my answer to you. You haven't gave me an answer yet. Yeah, what is it? Not the word of God. That's a different scenario. My brother, that's the same scenario because we out here trying to spur out. This, hold on. Listen to me. I listen to you, my brother. I listen to you. This is what we doing. We out here trying to tell our people, hey, if you don't repent, you are going to get killed. That's right. You have to repent. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 